Hi everyone. Um, I did actually do um, the fan on a tutorial the other day um, and it actually came out all wrong um, and I ended up having to scrap it. Um, so here's take two. Hopefully this one goes better. I've got two circles of card which have all been cut out of a cereal box. Um, basically this is what I'm going to make and show you how to make today um, but slightly different. Um, I've used ribbon on the other handle um, and I've also added a little dangly cuff frilly piece. <laughs> Not quite sure what they call them. So basically we need two circles of card which I use my granddaughter's bowl because we couldn't find one um, a bowl in the house or a plate that was the right size it was either too big or too small so we're basically going to use the hot glue for a lot of this so especially the um, gluing it all together the hot glue is most probably a lot better It doesn't matter if you can see, like here, the pencil or pen mark, because you're going to cover that with something, a lace ribbon or what, whatever you wish, basically. Um, I've used the papers um, from the Prima Lyric book. Um, I do love that, and I have used a lot of that one to most of the other bits and pieces I've done. So... I'm not just going to more glue. Not a very good gun this. I do hope to get a newer one at some point with the thinner nozzle. So I don't know if you can get them over here. I haven't had a chance to look. So make sure it's in the right spot. That's the prop, yeah. Don't do all the glue in one hit because <laughs> it starts to dry pretty quickly. There we go, a bit better. Let's check the rest of it up here. Make sure this is completely glued down. Make sure this one goes on the right way because we want the top to be there. We'll do this one in pieces this time. You can get bigger cereal boxes, a sort of big family size pack, but sometimes can be a lot easier because, as I say, they're a lot bigger. More glue again. I like to make sure there's plenty of glue, that way I know it's not going to come up anywhere. Come on. There we go. The next video I'll actually be making after this one. Um, I'm going to try and do my... Um, some of my little mini scrapbooks um, and what I had and 
my little notebooks and stuff that I've been making of late so <coughs> we should uh, have fun trying to make them um, I'm using the glue gun as well for this piece so it sits quite nicely on the edging I'm just wondering if the seam binding will look better on that one than the white if I can find the edge there we go Oh, it does actually, it looks a lot better, so we shall stick with the seam binding. And start at the top, center even. I should have done it the other way around. <laughs> That's what you get for being left handed. What's nice, this is a nice peachy seam binding and I really do like this one. I managed to get it really quite cheap. I can't even remember where I bought it now. It wasn't a normal shop. It might have been a charity shop or something, I'm not sure. better. What's nice with the seam binding is it's already got the two pieces so it makes it easier for you to fold over. Whereas with the ribbon you want to try and make sure it's always in the same spot. These are actually quite easy to make, the round ones. I did want to make a proper one, but <laughs> as we found out, that is easier said than done. Because it is quite um, difficult. You can do them. Somebody, I saw the big stick stirrers that you get in the coffee shops. You can use 12 of them and you can make the, um, a proper fan using them. As I say, I'm using um, a stick. He keeps still. I'll be indoors, I'll be in, and I'll be in shortly. I'm recording. Shoot. <laughs> Sorry about that, my nephews. It seems the younger one keeps running off and eating all the junk food that he's not meant to be eating until after dinner, or lunch even. That's when you can now hear having a discussion <laughs> about it. one I've found to make quickly. Also it's perfect that a child can make it and you can use regular wet glue because my granddaughter keeps wanting mine, my proper fans. So I thought I'm going to make a slightly smaller version than this and that way she won't keep trying to nick nannies. <laughs> Been collecting mine for quite some time.
decorate more if you wanted to with your fans. You know, these are nice, cheap and easy way to make one. And I did that wrong already, I should have put that at the bottom. Oh well. <laughs> one of the reasons I actually started to make these were because on the UK and Ireland swap group um, <clears throat> Tina decided that because of the weather we've been having that we should all make a fan. So, um, other than the ones that you see children making out of paper, um, it was trying to come up with one that was easy and quick to do. Um, and this basically is, as I say, I've only I've used this white ribbon and wrapped it around um, a chopstick, the same as the first one. And I made this little fluffy bit as well. Um, and I tied it onto the ribbon and glued it down so it doesn't come off. So this oh, one side will go here somewhere. leave that to dry. Um, I'm just trying to think what you could use at the top. Don't really want to put a flower on it because it come flying off. We learn by our own mistakes. This is only the second one I've made. So, uh, as I say, my granddaughter wanted one, plus I have to make one for the swap online. So I can always give this one to my granddaughter. And you, she does like blue rather than any girly colours. But she does like it if it's sparkly. Mm, there we go. Nice and simple and straightforward. And yes, you can still use it. Um, this little tassel piece was made by... I used some embroidery thread. Um, I just cut it to, um, let me see, what was it, roughly, mm, about 20 centimetres, or just under. I then split it so it was into threes rather than the six, how they come. Then I folded it in half, then folded it in half again, cut the middle there. This is just don't want to work properly today. And I held it together, used another piece. Which I'm going to poke through there. Put a little knot in it. Bring the extra piece down so it becomes part of the tassel. And then I wrapped it around. To make the little tassel. <laughs> Find your hole again. <laughs> 